Oh. It's like a tiger is clawing a chunk out of my head. <laughs> Ah. Blast. Hmm. Um, hi there. Yeah, I don't need to stab you, but, um... Excuse me, who are you? Um, I think they, they, they're just not important right now. <laughs> no, mate, it, it really is. Uh, see, this is my house. You see, this is my house. Oh, really? This is your place? Well, it is, it is, it is may I say, it is absolutely lovely. Your place is great. I thank you. Leave. I think. Oh, I'm so glad he's gone. Right. Where was I? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The same with the man who took it upon himself. Ah, yeah. Yeah, he's already bothered you again. You're not you're not busy, are you? Yes. Really? What you doing? Well, if you must know, I'm writing, or at least <laughs> attempting to write, my novel. How oh, brilliant! What's it about? Is is there a good reason why you're here and you keep on intruding like this? Is there? Hold on, hold on! I've only done it once. What do you want? Well, nothing really. You want a tissue? A what? A tissue, right? You see, I was going to go get one because I can't get my nose is running, right? Funny expression, my nose isn't actually running off my face, so I'll have to go catch it. But, anyways, you know what I mean. I was trying to do the good friendly thing. That way, see, if you needed to get one, that way, if, oh, if you need one, I could just go to the store. That way, you save two trips, you know? You, sir, are starting to annoy me. Listen, I don't know who or what you are, but... You're in my house. I'm in the middle of writing my novel. I have a tremendously painful headache right now. And I would just like to be left alone. A headache? You should take something for that. You know that, right? I'm very aware of this. Thank you. Guess trying to help a friend? We are not friends. We are not friends. You must be... You really must be dreadfully lonely. I think you need a friend. So, Harold. Harold, did you go to school today? Hugh, I don't know how to make this any more clear than I've already made it. I'm not real. I'm a figment of your imagination. I'm not clear around you. I'm not sure I follow. Now listen, Hugh. I'm not you. I'm not anyone you ever knew. I'm just a figment of your imagination, that's all. Which means I won't be there to catch you when you fall. Sorry, Hugh. The truth hurts. I'm just not real. I never said to hurt you. Yeah, at least Bob didn't really work, but you get the picture of it. Don't you think the singing was a bit over the top? Yeah, sorry, mate, but it is your fault after all. Listen, I'm not real. He's 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 not real. Ah, they won't leave.
Harold. Can I call you that? Look, Mike, we've been over this before. Look, look, I know. We've been over this. But considering you're still here, I figure it'd be easier if I had a name to call you. Do whatever you want to do. Anyway, Harold. Yes? How do I get you to leave? That is entirely up to you. Well, as long as you're living here, do I need to, you know, buy you anything like food? Well, to be honest, now, <laughs> I'd say this imaginary stuff is working out pretty well right now, yeah. Um, I'm really self-sufficient once you get to know me, mate. Right. It's not gonna work. Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs>